The new Biden health story is about a Parkinson's expert who visited the White House, according to some reports, eight, 10 or 12 times. The implication is that President Biden has Parkinson's. We don't have evidence of that at this point in time, but we will address it substantively. We can't ignore. We can't ignore that in 2016, they also were saying Hillary has Parkinson's just it's Hillary not having Parkinson's has no bearing on whether Biden has Parkinson's, but they did this with Hillary. It's important to mention the story in The New York Times and elsewhere is that a Parkinson's expert, a doctor visited the White House eight times in eight months. The concern, of course, was is that doctor visiting because there is something Parkinsonian happening with Joe Biden. We had questions about this during yesterday's press briefing with Press Secretary Karine Jean Pierre. Here's how that went. Uh, I'm not going to share people's names from here, uh, but the president, I can tell you, has seen a neurologist three times as it's connected to the uh, to a physical that he gets every year that we provide to all of them. That's a very basic direct question. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait a second. Wait. Eight times or at least once. In regards to I the just, president wait, specifically. Hold on a Not second. What you should be able to answer by this point. Wait, no, 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 no. No, wait a minute. Come, Ed, please. A little respect here, please. So every year around the, the president's physical examination, he sees a neurologist. That's three times, right? So I am telling you that he has seen a neurologist three times while he has been in this presidency. That's what I'm saying. I am telling you that he has seen them three times. That is what I'm sharing with you, right? So every time he has a physical, he has had to see a neurologist. This is the crux of what they are saying, that the visits, as far as Biden is concerned, were just a neurologist as part of his team for his annual physical. Now, three times in three years is different than eight times in eight months. And the White House subsequently releasing a letter, which you can check out which writes that this is not about Biden having Parson Parkinson's, that this is a very well respected neurology consultant. He visits and the White House medical unit is in charge of many, many different people and, and, and uh, oversees the health situations of many people. It's not just the president of the United States. So allegation, they're hiding Biden Parkinson's defense. That's a doctor who consults with us. There's a thousand people that are sort of under the purview of care of the White House medical unit, and there's nothing to see here. Do I know for sure the answer? No, I don't. But here's what I can tell you. If President Biden has Parkinson's, so what? It makes no difference to me. It would do nothing to dissuade me from voting for him. The progression of Parkinson's disease and these related Parkinsonian disorders, they really vary, but they are typically slow to progress. In the early stages, the first three years, you're talking about stiffness and sometimes mild tremors, minimal impact on daily activities. Almost everyone in the first three years can perform whatever tasks they were previously performing. You then get into the middle years, three to seven years where symptoms get worse. It can take 15 years to get what would be called late stage Parkinson's. So would it be a big story? If the White House were hiding that Joe Biden has Parkinson's, it would. It would. Does it have any bearing, any bearing on how I would vote in November? Absolutely none. And as a reminder, they did Hillary Parkinson's as well. Now they're doing Biden Parkinson's. I don't know the truth. The White House has put out a statement, but it doesn't change that I'm voting Biden over Trump in, in November if those are the options. If this would even hypothetically change your vote, well, I want to hear from you. Info at davidpackman.com.